If Ruto insists on this bill, this country will go into full recession. This bill requires and must be must get fierce resistance. No sane leader withdraws subsidies on basic goods, then increases taxes on the same goods and salaries of working people, including hawkers. You withdraw uh, subsidies, and then you now add taxes to add insult to injury. I will highlight areas of significant concern to us. Then let the Zimio Economic Council take the country through the details. Ruto wants to levy taxes on charmer or merry-go-rounds. Merry-go-rounds are the bankers and lenders of last resort for our mothers and youth, particularly in rural areas and slums. Without offering any services to the chamas, women groups and trade associations, Root has decided they must be paid taxes. This strikes at the heart of women's economy. It kills savings and spreads poverty among an already vulnerable group. At a time, the National Hospital Insurance Fund and the National Social Security Fund are failing. Ruto is telling Kenyans to forego 3% of their salaries and deposit it into some fantasy called housing levy. Nobody knows where it is housed. The government cannot agree whether it is a tax or an investment. Nobody knows how government became an investment advisor to Kenyans. They ignore concerns by employers and employees that many pay lips, lips services, uh, 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 sorry, that many pay, pay slips are already overwhelmed by deductions loans and lack of pay rise. They ignore concerns that this tax will increase business operating costs and force farms to relocate. Already some farms are relocating merely because of the high cost of energy in this country. It is cheaper to manufacture in Egypt and export back to Kenya. Look at the arrogance with which they want to raise turnover tax for businesses from the current 1% to 3%. They are targeting small businesses by reducing turnover of taxable businesses from Kenya shillings 1 million to 500,000. With this, any small business that sells goods and services worth 1,370 daily, we will pay a turnover tax of 15,000 per year, regardless of whether the business makes a profit or not. That sounds like a memo on how to kill businesses and the economy. Nobody now knows where the bottom-up economy went. The Mamamboga, the Boda Boda, the Juakali, the Hustlers. Contrast that decision to increase taxes for small businesses and merry go rounds with Ruto's plan to scrap BAT on aircrafts and helicopters, a benefit that should be extended to small businesses is being extended to the rich who trade aircrafts. This is not bottom-up, this is top-bottom.